question. What's the bin without trash? Who's jail without Jack? What's muscles without packs? Who's sneak ball without rap? What's weave? I mean a train without a track. Body without a back. Bone home without a dad. Now before I start, this isn't me slating dads who have left the homes of single mothers. This is me simply bringing home some truth about some facts that remain undercover, no doubt. A household without a father figure would be considered incomplete. Stereotypically, sons grow up and resent that missing father figure to they're about six feet deep, which causes a generation of hatred. Mothers get complacent. Women find it hard to find trust in a soulmate because they believe he'll be quick to slip into the next baby, Jason. It's quite basic, let's face it. Dads in the home are the backbone. So when dads ain't around, sons grow up to make their mothers proud instead of striving to be the dads that's never been around. But then I realise I'm in an awkward situation. I live in more than just a fatherless home, we live in a fatherless nation. The fatherless syndrome is swapping through generation to generation. We make plans to better the youth and like absent dads, they ain't funding it. So the same way we can ask what's a child without a dad, we should ask what's the youth without the government. Respect for older males in higher power basically doesn't exist. And when asked why, we'll have our own list, because look how long we've had to put up with all of their ish. Why well, they want to come in our lives, well, they're simply all... Well, who are they to tell us anything? They weren't there through our grind. They weren't even there half the time. Now they see we're doing our own thing. They think it's all right to come in our lives like it's fine. Well, no. Now, don't take what I'm saying literally. The government ain't exactly our parents, but the comparisons correlate. If it's not wrong for a child to resent a distant father, why is it wrong for the youth to resent in what's meant to be an apparent democracy, a distant partner, ship, wrecked, flipping heck, put together the missing steps. Fathers always wish the best for their kids, but they're not there, therefore it's disrespect to us. And that's the truth, on behalf of the youth. So don't blame or be ashamed of our actions or consider us insane. Cause when it came to the important parts of our lives, you disappeared, David blamed and showed a lack of support. Investing so much time in the rich who were coming to the end of their lives instead of investing time in us who were young and have lives to live and haven't yet reached our prime. You say we have potential, yet you're cutting down libraries, youth clubs, institutions to help us grow and aids to single mothers. How can we grow in a world where the dads don't help and the government don't love us? You're not a father if you can't disregard your own selfish needs for the ones you love. And the same goes for the system. They're above, but the link seems to be missing. Half the time, they disregard those half their size. So as fathers of this nation, power is being misused, causing boys to become men early. And at the end of the road, the cycle continues. So I ask again, what's the bin without trash? Who's Jill without Jack? What's muscles without packs? Who's sneak ball without rap? What's weave? I mean, a train without a track, body without a back, bone, home without a dad. Thank you very much. That was Fatherless Britain.